Alright guys, welcome back to J Force Gaming and today in today's in this video I'm gonna show you this really amazing streaming and game capturing devices. Right here with me we have the Zer or the ZILR uh, game capture um, device box. Alright, so you use this for streaming and gaming and recording your favorite gameplays alright on your console and streaming out to OBS, you know, on Twitch or YouTube. Or even you can record use it to record it, uh, record your console's gameplays. And after that, you can use it to upload into YouTube as a video, so and so forth, at uh, full HD at 60 FPS. So um, I'm gonna show you how what um, the amazing feature that is it packed with, and why would you would I recommend this to you compared to other competitors out there? And uh, without further ado, now let's do a quick unboxing and see what we get inside this whole package. See, so see what you will be receiving. All right, so um, it's my first time unboxing with you guys, so uh, there's no biasness. All right, so it's my first impression to see. Um, with you guys uh what it has all right so let me just get the plastic wrapper out of the way real quick and to show you guys what's inside the packaging so the box came in uh really nicely packed and let's see how do i open this up so just pull this thing up really cool all right let's put this aside and uh i think it's possibly very nice packaging very nice detail the red and black screams victory Alright, and let's open this up. Let's see what we get. So we get the instructions menu on how you guys can set up your streaming. Get the box streaming box set up. Or the game capture box, you might can name it whichever you like. Alright, let's put the, the device aside first and see what we get inside as the accessories. Alright, so the first thing we get is a USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, this can be used to connect to your PC or use it to charge your phone, which I'll mention more about it later at the part of the video. And the next thing you get is a USB, uh, sorry, it's not a USB, it's a HDMI to a HDMI cable for your, to connect your consoles or your, you know, or to your monitor as well. And nice enough, they have this really nice, um, back for you to put uh, all the cables, accessories inside. So very nice. The, the fabric is very feels very good and very nice to touch to the touch. So you get really uh, amazing quality um, cables. They are not. They don't feel like those cheap cable that you get as an accessory. Most of the time, you get those cheap accessory like cheap HDMI cable that probably cost like ten dollar. This all these are gold plated, metallic aluminium, and the cables are really thick, really solid and they are exceptional quality. I would say these cables are worth about at least $25 to $30, those kind of premium cables. So really nice of them to include all these really amazing accessories inside. So let's put the accessories aside and see what we get. What um, my first impression on this device itself. All right, so let's peel the plastic off, ASMR. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, all right, my first impression on this device. The top is a um, glossy finishing. You can see it's a very glossy, very nice um, finishing. Feels really shiny, feels really premium, but it's a fingerprint panel if I'm like, yeah. So it's a fingerprint panel, so you need a cloth to wipe the top to make sure it's clean. And um, overall, um, the body itself is aluminum, very lightweight. As you can hear it's aluminum, all right? Um, very sturdy and it's just extremely lightweight so it's because it's lightweight it's good that if you don't want it to you know, show up on your screen uh, on a stream or so on you can just mount it behind your monitor or anywhere you can just place it around mount it on below the table because it's lightweight it won't fall off any easily you can just use a tape to tape it so yeah it's pretty lightweight and um yeah so this is my first impression of it feels very premium doesn't feel cheap at all okay so so yeah so this is the unboxing video as you guys can see and um, yeah, the accessories, everything included is really amazing. So right now, let's talk about what um, what are the features this thing has and why would I recommend this over any other capture card out there. So now let's just talk about the ports itself. All right, so what kind of ports they have. So the first thing at the front, you can see that we have a micro SD card as well as a, a standard SD card slot for you to um, record your gameplay into the SD card. And as well as we have a microphone and a headphone jack for your microphone input as well as your headphone output. So you can monitor the voice or a pass through. And at the back, we have a USB-C PD. So this is a power delivery port, which you can use it to charge up your phone without connecting an external plug for it. 
So you can use this to easily uh, power up these devices as well as charge your phone at the same time uh, up to 85 watts. So you can charge up a laptop as well. So this is a very fast charging port that they have included with a very nice touch to it. So you can keep your um, gaming setup really clean, free of cables. And uh, on the left and right side, we have two USB-A 3.0 ports that can deliver speed up to a 5 gigabits per second. Uh, probably for the uh, external connection like a, a USB stick, um, all the other connection that is needed for to make your streaming setup start um, to get it started. And uh, at the side and uh, at the Right, we have two HDMI port. One is the HDMI in, and the other one is the HDMI out port. So these are for the pass through. So basically, let's say if you have a console, you will go into the HDMI in, and the HDMI out will go to your monitor. So you can play your console games, and you can view it on the monitor itself. And at the same time, it will record the console gameplay or even stream the console gameplay. And on the right hand side, we have a USB C port, which this will connect to your PC. So um, all the data that you, know, you have captured from your console, it will go into the PC, which you can stream it on OBS and so as record it. So, so yeah, so these are all the ports behind. Very simple, very straightforward. You don't really need to be an IT expert to set it up. It's very straightforward, very simple. And what are the features that this thing has? Okay, so this thing allows you for a 4K 4K 60 FPS fast through. So if you have a 4K monitor, you let's say I have a PS5 and have a 4K monitor, it's able to pass through full resolution, full 4K resolution on your uh, monitor itself while recording it at 30 FPS or 100 uh, 1080p at 60 FPS. So this is a really amazing, nice pass through. Most of the pass through you get on other game capture devices. Um, let's say if it only records at 1080p. Um, the pass through only allows you to play the game in 1080p, which is really bad. So with this, you can pass through and play at 4K, at 4K with the full resolution on your PS5 while pass throughing this device itself while capturing your gameplay, which is a really sweet one. And also, this also support uh, DSLR. So if you have, if you want to use this for um, your Zoom meetings, so on, or some really um, just a very simple Zoom setup. You can use this to connect your uh, you know DSLR camera to make um, your Zoom meeting a little bit more <laughs> better and advanced. All right, so you can connect your um, mirror mirrors DSLR camera to this device and as and um, the mic and the headphone jack, so you guys can have a really good and really clear streaming, uh, basically a video zoom setup very neatly because most of the time DSLR camera could not connect to your PC directly as a webcam, it just won't work. So with these devices, it will make it work and you can use your DSLR camera as a webcam for your zoom call or basically as your game gameplay, you can don't, use, don't need to use a standard webcam. If you are a more professional streamer or a YouTuber, you can use your DSLR camera as the webcam itself by using these devices. So pretty straightforward, really nice, nicely designed. Now I'm going to show you a few gameplay that is captured on my PS5. I'm going to show you it to you. Um, the gameplay itself, I guess you can see how clear and how smooth the gameplay, how nice, how basically how smooth it was captured on this device. So right now I'm going to show you a few clips uh, that my, some of my gameplay on my PS5, I guess you can see for yourself how good this thing actually captures your PS5 gameplay. So now let's show you a bit of the gameplay. Alright, as you guys can see right here, right now, I am playing God of War Ragnarok right on my PlayStation 5. As you can see, it is recording, capturing the gameplay right now as I'm playing, as I'm speaking right now. And as you can see, alright, alright, let me just, just quick move on to the, let me just, do, uh, I think we should go to the lock, lock there. Yeah, I think we should go, alright. So, um, as you guys can see, alright, there's, when I'm playing this right now, right there is no, uh, frame drops or anything, any drops or what, and there's no like um you know cuts out some cutout or like um some V sync problem so on and so forth. Everything is very smooth. All right, let me just do a quick attack on this guy. All right, just slash him. All right. All right. As you can see, all the scenes, everything, all the gameplays are recorded in 1080p, 60 FPS right now, without any errors at all. As you can see right here, all everything was really smooth. No jittering, no stuttering, no noises. Alright, let's do a quick dodge. Alright, All right, so, oh my god, there's so, many, so much more. Oh my god, ouch. There's so much more uh, enemies right here. Let's just quick kick you to kill this guy first. Alright, let's, let's finish him off right now. Okay, there we go. 
Alright, so as you can, you can see, there's more enemies out here. You can see this is a few, um, a, a one of the gameplays you can see right here. You need to, to see the quality and the and how powerful and how good this capture card is, right? To capture all this footage without any frame drops at all. Very stable. And as you can see from the footage yourself, you can see for yourself, it is really actually very amazing. And it just captures very smoothly. And with this pass through, right now I'm seeing on my mo own monitor, all right? There's no um, lag or anything at all. So, so yeah, as you can see from the quality of this, um, this gameplay right here, this 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 gameplay capturing right here, you can see everything is very very smooth right now, and uh, it's, it manages all the quality, the um the details in it as well. As you can see all the details, all the lighting, right, all the contrast, all these are exact one to one, um recording basically a replication of the gameplay itself. So everything is to exact what you're seeing right now is what I'm seeing on my monitor right now. So. So yeah, so it's really amazing and the graphics on the God of War Ragnarok is next level and on the PS5 while you're capturing it, it's just really amazing. So yeah, so this is a, a short gameplay of it and um, so yeah, so now let's go back to the my review. Alright, so if you guys have seen the gameplay, as you can see the gameplay is very very smooth captured really well there is no distortion there's no noise at all he just really captured the full gameplay into it the full 1080p resolution without any lag stuttering or um, frames cropping up the shoes he just captured the gameplay very simply you can so with this um, footage i can just use it to upload on my youtube channel or even stream it as it is so uh, as you can see the quality is really amazing and it's a really really amazing game capture device and my conclusion why would i recommend this over any other competitors out there so um if you guys know there are competitors i wouldn't name those other competitors out there just in case i'm getting sued or what but as you can see this for the price point compared to other competitors out there you basically get the same function or even more function more function to it and as well as you can get a really amazing capture gameplay out of this little device right here compared to other where you know those options are limited uh, other competitors out there who are more expensive and they only have a few um, you know features that they have is very limited and their ports are quite limited which this one they give you the full ports for you to assess or you know DIY yourself to make your dream streaming setup or your zoom call zoom meeting setup as well as your game capture setup as well with the with limited amount of uh, wires needed and also everything is just plug and play very simple you don't really have to uh, you know go through a lot of headache just to get it to work just plug and play it will just work so yeah if you guys want to get this device the link will be in the video description down below the very first link you guys can go ahead and check it out and get it for yourself as i promise you you will not be disappointed with this device right here it's just really amazing compared to other game capture device out there so once again, if you guys don't want to get this really amazing game capture device, the link will be in the video description down below. You guys can go ahead and check it out and all the features that it has. And as well as really amazing uh, accessories that it has given you. Some of the game capture device you I bought last time doesn't even come with this accessories. I have to buy the accessories myself, troubleshoot it. It's pretty headache. And with this, it comes in everything, plug and play, very simple, very straight out, simple, straightforward process. And as well as the manual, they have given you the manual itself, alright? I have read through the manual itself um, while setting up to, you know, basically show you the gameplay footage. And it's pretty, very, very, very easy. Plug, plug, plug. Put my PS5 into the HDMI in. Uh, my monitor to the HDMI out. The USB-C to my PC. And OBS automatically capture, um, automatically find these devices itself. And I can just start recording with it. Or I can just put in my, insert my micro SD card to get it. To record the gameplay so i think it's very straightforward my mic my headphones that's all so to get everything started it's very simple plug and play very straightforward you don't have to headache because a lot of capture devices you really hate it with it so yeah so if you find today's video very helpful and um, you want me to review other capture devices or any other really amazing tech you guys can let me know in the comment section as well and yeah if you find today's video helpful give it a thumbs up and once again, if you want to get this, the link will be in the video description down below. Alright, so that's it for today, guys. If you like today's video, give a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't wanna cry.